and I'm hoping. Wait, can Tom? Can you can you speak for me? Hello. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess that's all right. <clears throat> if worse comes to it, I just speak a, a little bit louder than Tom. Let's see if it comes up. It says it's starting. It's starting, my dude. Yeah, I'm I'm blinding myself to death tonight. It's it's great with a capital eight. Let's let's see how this goes. The vaping here live. Oh, we are we are live. How's it going, Alexis? Um. Okay, yeah, audio is coming through. I totally just unmuted the audio on the stream just to see if it's working. How's it going, Daniel, Alexis? How are we doing tonight, guys? We're back at it again with not white vans because I don't wear white shoes. They get dirty too easily, let's be honest. How's it going, Tom? How you, how are you doing tonight? I'm good, man. How about you? I'm, 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 I'm good, man. I don't know what's up. Uh, you shit, good? Craig's here. Oh fuck! Mm, well, there goes the show cam. Yep. Well, ruined. Postpone it. Cancel the show. I quit. Nah. Um, Tom. Tom. Tommy, old chap. What? It, what's your vapsin on today? Um. Not much really. Recoil rebel on top of the captain. PD two seventy, and then the C eight. And I do have a whole bunch of vape gear there, which I will probably vape gear vape there. Uh, vaping on some uh, poets, uh, bourbon and spice roll. Dude, I'm looking forward to getting me some of that. Fucking yeah! Um, big shout out to Jack from What's Vaporium, up, hooking it up. Love you, man. I'm just, I'm just gonna crack open a hard beverage. little bit of monster to keep me going um right what am i vaping on so same thing as tom within reason uh i've got the recoil rebel on top of the offshore vapes tmc pwm box what's in there uh that is ginger kisses deep south resistance Love that juice, man. Um, also, another product we will be talking about later on, the Aegis, Aegis, however you want to say it, in full stealth black looking with the Aria Sleeper on top. What is that? That must be Fruit Loops. I don't know, man. I've been mixing juices all day. I've been just dropping juice on whatever the hell I want. Um, and then, within reason, kind of the same as Tom, using a mouth-to-lung Addy. So I've got the Mulsiba from Tiberian Vape, Vaperco. There we go. I'm going to get that. And then the Rock Mods, full Ultim. I wonder if, uh, there's no but there's no battery. <laughs> oh, God. <Skills>. Green screen. <laughs> And then that is a little bit of a throwback for me. I haven't had this bottle in a while. It's been sitting in the cupboard, kind of stepping away. But one of Tom's classics, Milfoy, Milly Philly, um, Milfoy. I, I love it, man. It's it's a good custard. It's kind of gone almost toffee, butterscotchy, kind of caramelly and delicious. Fucking so, year old. Dude, yeah, no, it's 11 months old. It's almost a whole year. Actually, it probably is a year old. Because I got it from you after a month of it steeping, so. Valid. Probably more than a month steeping, but yeah, sure. Vaping on your first set of hey. fucked up jugs. Dude. Hey. I, I'm, I'm on a set of jugs as well, man. Love me a good set of jugs. Um, so, in the Rico uh, Rebel. Instead of their series jugs, I did turn the potentiometer down a bit because 
at mechs. She is... Angry? Yeah, I just don't want to burn my cotton either. That would, that'd be a bad time. Nah, you'll be sweet, mate. Oh, uh, dude. I'm throwing Fruit Loops on top of the recoil. Um, so, yeah, we've got a couple things to talk about. We've also got the draw for the shit ton of death liquids. I can't remember how many bottles, but there's a lot. How many was that, Tom? Five, six mils. Five, five, six mils? Sixty. Oh, sorry, you late. Okay, five, sixty. Damn. I'm so good at it, I couldn't enter, man. It's alright. You'll get your chance. Yeah, that's true, man. I need to, I need to re-up on some diff. <clears throat> Especially the xenon. Mmm, xenon. Mm, for me, it's head up, man. Head, head up, up gets me. Yeah, that is true. See, we God. will we will have to do a review on the whole range very very soon. Um, well, I've already done one, so you need to do. A yeah, review on yeah, the whole exactly. Range. <sighs> Slack. Probably have to head up, Richard. <laughs> Pretty much. How's it going, Flair? Elmo, what's up? I love it how we're just having a conversation with each other whilst live on the air instead of conversating with you guys. Um, so, pretty much, dude. So, we do have, I guess, four things-ish to talk about. I don't know if Tom wants to start with the starter kit or he wants me to start with the Aegis. Um, up to him. Hell yeah! I'll start with the starter kit, my dude. Mate, this thing is fucking revolutionary. It's gonna pump out the biggest clouds you've ever seen. Um, on a serious note, though, uh, the T18 is a oh, well, it comes as a whole kit. Uh, you get the tank, you get the drip tip, you get two coils, you actually get three drip tips, you get two normal ones, and then this weird flat fluted sort of thing, yeah, flute like, which is quite small inner diameter as well. So, if you wanted to use this on another device, you could, and so are the other two um, normal drip tips. They're very, very small inner diameter. So you're basically going to force the uh, vapor into a small area. Condense so you're going to get yep. much more flavor. Yeah, denser and more flavor. Um, it is a bottom airflow tank and top fill as well. The top just basically screws off. And yeah, fill it in there. You blat in there. Um, blat. The coils are kind of like pressed fit. Uh, Craig, to answer your question, yes. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah, Cam can't come, but I am. Um, that sounded more like didn't see than anything else, but anyway. Um, <laughs> bottom here, flow, which is a bit strange. Um, it's different. Because of, yeah, I mean, it's like 510 airflow, so it's like legitimately as restrictive as you can think of so they put slots in the top of the like battery thing so yep. those slots here as well as slots in the bottom of the tank so you kind of get both of them added together will equate to your airflow um and then the what i really like about this is there is no visible usb port you have to Bloop. flip open the bottom and it's there it's kind of it's kind of nice, man, and it's like spring loaded too, so you can't really mess it up. Uh, I'm sure somebody can, but you know. Whatever. I bet you I could bend uh, it off. You... Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, standard five clicks, then it runs through the colors. So oh, it's, red. It's three uh, clicks, Tom. It's three. Oh, it is two. Sorry, oh, I sell go. them all all day, every day. So. <laughs> so three clicks on, three clicks off. Uh, and then basically just hold down and vape. Nothing like a good mouth to lung, man. For flavor, this hands down beats an eye care for flavor. For clouds, I've seen eye cares push bigger clouds than this. Oh, same. I can make right. an eye care pump. Um, I don't know how old. And... Especially if you if you modify your eye care. Like, yeah, especially when you drill through it and then drill through your finger at the same time. Yeah, don't do a cam, but do a tom and actually succeed. Well, so massive holes on the eye care and that has to. more airflow now and all that kind of stuff. Fresh cool. Um, I know, I know, Craig. 
Um, but life and work kind of have to come first. I would love to be at every single freaking vape event. But, you know, priorities sometimes. I mean, I'll be at I'll be at a vape shop, so it's kind of, you know, vape related. Um, if you guys are going, throw up a live video so I can watch and cry whilst I'm at work. Um, I must admit, though, the T18 is one... Well, the T18, the Endura series, the T22, the T20, and the T18 are personally some of my favorite starter kits. Um, Definitely definitely the right mindset like yeah. a lot of a uh, lot of juice holes in the coils themselves so you're less likely to get a dry hit as well um, compared to that to like yeah. the eye care ones massive difference I took one fully apart at work the other day the coil just you know someone brought in a burnt coil and I was like I really want to have a look at them and literally the coil sits at the top and then it's pretty much just yeah. wicked straight down those holes and that's it real real simple but you're getting that juice to that coil more efficiently within reason. You know, you got more holes, meaning more wicking's going to happen, which I think is freaking awesome. Flavor's good on them. <clears throat> well, as good as you're going to get on something that's made to be mouth to lung. I mean, I think they're a 0. 0.1 coil. 1.5. 1. 1. There we go. Um, so they are quite a high resistance, and the flavor's pretty reasonable, and the cloud production on them is also really reasonable and they can handle 70 30 they can handle higher than that yeah i wouldn't mind seeing it with some max in there um like pretty much 100 percent damn son but yeah works well it's working and it's because of those those holes for the wicking like if you have tiny tiny holes like in the eye care and you put max vg in there that juice isn't going to go through to the cock very well Versus, you know, something like this, you've got so much area for the juice to go into that it doesn't have issues. Yeah, exactly. If you guys didn't understand that, I'm sorry Tom is lagging. He is on dial-up internet. But, um, yeah, pretty much you said wicking. The holes in the coils, great for wicking. Anything's going to wick, pretty much. Or any juice is going to wick. Mm. Um, something like that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Just, just briefly guesstimate what Tom said. Um... Yeah, I really like the unit. Even with like some twelve meg in there, it's not too bad. I've got three in there, but I, I definitely got more. Yeah. Like three's not enough. But then I don't wanna nick my juice to twelve and then not be able to vape it and other things. Yeah, exactly. Um How's it going, Dave? I didn't say hi. How you doing, man? Shane, also. Sandy, what's up? Lily, what's up? Good to have you guys in. I uh, hope you guys are having a good Monday evening. I mean, not many people like Mondays. I'm not a big fan of Mondays, but, you know, it's great to come home from work and have an enjoyable show with you guys watching. Um, so, next on the cards, I guess, I guess we can talk about this, Tom. I guess. I don't... The indestructible mod. Well, that's their claim, and I really want to test it, but I feel like it's going to void warranty if it shits the bed. Um, so, this thing, man. I've been using it since I got it. I haven't used any other regulated mod since I got it for the sole purpose of actually being able to tell you guys what it's like uh, vape-wise as well as battery life-wise. Because it does come with a 26650. I believe there is a unit that does not come with a 26650. It does come with a Galisi um, battery. I will show that soon, very, very soon. But overall, I am quite impressed with the packaging. Standard kind of, you know, your Geek Vape products are pretty damn well packaged. Um, there isn't much in the box, but I will open her up. I don't know if it's going to show up, but little, there we go, little accents on the box, you know, I guess. Lily is Rochelle, kids keep changing, how's it going Rochelle? <coughs> Typical kids, man. Um, so, in the box, obviously, you've got where your, your mod's going to go. 
fucking geek vape and their manuals man i feel like every time i get a geek vape manual it is 10 times thicker than it was the last one um oh tom it comes in your language oh thanks Yeah, so it comes in, you know, your standard languages, English, French, pretty sure there's German in there, and Japanese, Chinese, probably Russian for all I know. Um, <laughs> so in the packaging, it does come with a little boxy looking thing. I really love it how they put finger holes in everything so you can pull it out. Pro tip, every company should do it. Um, you do get a little... A little condom i guess you could call it little silicon xo4 running 18650s let's grab an 18650 so all it does is straight in nice and simple um so if you were gonna run 18650s in it i really wouldn't battery life would be pretty average um compared to yeah. 26s You're it so can run 20 2700s as well but you need to buy the upgrade um, battery thing and 21700s. What? Yep. Dude, okay, now yeah. I need to... I need to source it that. It runs shit. all four. That is kind of So sick. it's just, you know how you have your battery door thing? It's just the... So you can take that out and get a 2700 one and a 21700. I'm slightly tempted to find that. Um... Yeah, it's definitely good to have info more than no info. Um, Rochelle, totally agree. Um, it does also come with a little gasket that is for the venting of the battery if it was to vent. It is kind of a cool setup, so the USB Which plug... <clears throat> this little guy here. So it goes over top of the USB um, yeah. firmware upgrade port. And then on the actual piece of metal that goes over top, you've got the gasket. And then there's a little sharp, um, like, pin that sits underneath it. And what happens is when it vents, it pushes that silicon up and breaks a hole through it and vents. Only scary thing is it's right next to your face. Right there. Um, also, two little O-rings, which I believe are just for the battery door. And then two more of, I believe they're... Yeah, they are. The fucking torque screws. I don't know why they've done that when you need to be able to firmware upgrade your unit. Like, I'm one of those people where I'd love to sense. upgrade the firmware, so that kind of bugs me. But yeah, but if you're, if you're only doing it every once in a blue moon, then... Yeah, I've got to go out and buy a set of torque screws, Tom. <laughs> eh. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, and then... Two O-rings. Um, the device itself. Let's unscrew the Aria sleeper. So it looks good with the 24 mil on it. It also looks good with a 30 mil on it. It actually looks quite proportionate. It's you know, it's good. I really like it. Um, also, Dave, I I, I found it. I did find it. If you want to PM me later on, hit me up, slip in my DMs. Um, Down the hole. So, there's your screen there. It is all the way from, I believe it's 5 watts. Nope, it's 1 watt. Good work, Cam. All the way up to 100, 100 which is cool. Um, if you're buying this device, honestly, I believe people that are buying these are mainly... You know, people that are working scaffies, building, anything tradie wise Because they are quite durable. All the reviews I've seen on them, people have been doing ridiculous freaking things with them that I'm not going to do because I really like keeping my boxes looking nice. It's just nice having the option that if someone was to, you know, throw me in a pool and I had my vape on me, it's not going to damage this. Obviously, the tank's going to get water in it. That's going to be a bitch. But really, is it a change you know, your, your coil, your cotton, whatever, pre-made or normal. Um, nice little leather accent on the back as well with, I don't know if it's going to show up, red stitching. Yeah. I really do like that. Um, rubberized finish on pretty much everything else except for the metal and leather. The 
door opening mechanism is pretty damn awesome as well so little lip comes out you unscrew three, I think the 2700 and 2700 doors don't have that they have a coin insert Ooh. Um, this also has the coin insert as well. Um, so there's your Galici twenty seven hundred. Well, twenty six six fifty. Sorry, guys. Um, it's not showing up that well on screen because of the green screen, but it is a really <laughs> really good battery. I did look at Mooch's. Um, you stopped the leaking on that unit. Yeah, yeah, I did, uh, Rochelle. So it leaks for like. 30 seconds after I rebuild in it and put the cotton in and then it's good to go the mod fiber it's uh, weird man okay. I don't get it um, uh, yeah mine's mine's fine now no leaks at all um, inside there obviously positive up and it's got a little Sub plastic Carlos. Um, how's it going Carlos it's got a little plastic kind of um, silicon seal around it um, so the way it vents is it actually goes from the positive and then up to here and it's not going to show it. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it, but those little circles there is actually where it vents from. So it is right next to your face, which is kind of scary, but you will hear it before it vents. You'll hear that pop. Yeah, not even that. Don't, yeah, but yeah, don't build within yeah, stupid limits. Yeah, be safe with it. Um, batteries are pretty good. <laughs> what's the seal like to the battery the seal on the battery is pretty thick it's not really going to show up on cam that well but that yeah, yeah you can kind of see it so the o-ring is quite thick um it does screw in quite you gotta put your you gotta put your mod father on top of there so dave can see it because he wants a mod father that's true um so it does screw in quite nice and tight one two three four five bam geek fake logos um, I did put the mod father on, but you were busy looking at your penis, Tom. But back at it again. Right, my dude. There we go. It is oh, quite oh, proportionate. Yes. Like, um, Just it's... like you, right, Cam? 100 <laughs> watts, 0.1 ohm coil, set of fucked up. What are these? Stage jugs that have been in here for quite a while. It is waterproof, dust proof, uh, shock proof. Yeah. Uh, throw it wall proof. <laughs> Did you see that review? Drive over, yeah, drive over with um, fireproof. So, I'll, I'll, uh, what it says on the back, so, instantaneous firing. You know, cool. Um, military standard 810G dash 516.6 shock proof. So, it's drop proof. Um, it's IP67 waterproof and dustproof, so the same as your Samsung Galaxy S7s, S7 Edge, S6, some of the yeah, iPhones. IPhone yeah. Um, iPhone 8s are so 68. 67, I believe, yeah. is 1 meter for 30 minutes. Correct me if yeah. I'm wrong, Tom. Um, yeah, yeah, I think, no, five, five, up to 5 meters, no? Up to 5 meters for 30 minutes. Who knows? Uh, Carlos, you need to jump onto the Vaping U page and you'll see all the information. All you have to do is put a screenshot of your subscription thingy at the bottom. That shows us that you subscribe. That's the way to enter. Real, real simple. Um, and then also it says Dave. it's power mode, TCNI, TC stainless steel, TCR, which is great. I love TCR. Don't use it that often, but it is fun to be able to piss around with it. As well as bypass mode. Fucking bypass. Dave, if you wanted to um, to shelf it and then do that, it would probably handle it. So it could handle a shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could you could probably shit all over it if you really wanted. I mean, I don't know what you're into, Dave. But if that's if that's your cup of man, do you, my dude? Um, but it's it's let's, nice let's just say the biggest thing is that it's cam proof so far he's not broken it so well i mean i'm normally pretty damn good with my mods i try to take care of all my devices as much as i can except for the ones that i've dropped a couple of times um <laughs> luckily to say i haven't dropped my legit mods like tom um or anyone else that's dropped their legit mods fuck you man throwing it out Cut there um also do have to say a big massive shout out to jonas 
number three is on the way. Um, for you guys that don't know, he is bringing out a 2700 series box mod, unregulated. The only regulation in it, within reason, is there is an off and on switch. Looking forward to it. Super, super excited. The banter between you guys is on the edge at the best of time. <laughs> yeah, me and... T like, I don't know how we this put up with each behaving. other's shit. But this is us behaving. <laughs> the shit that happens off screen. Now that, that's real. Um, <laughs> Rochelle, honestly, this could be a unit for him. Um, I know there's a couple companies that have it in stock at the moment. Uh, but I think it's between like 120 and like 130 ish, including 18, uh, a 26650 from Galici, which I mean, most companies sell 26650s between like 14 and $20. So you're getting a pretty yeah. good deal with a battery. Um, I've been running MXJOs as well as this in here, which they're both. What's an MXJO? MXJO is a 4200 milliamp, and the Galici tested by Mooch. They are 4200, Tom. You give me a strange look, but they're 4200 milliamp. Um, Mooch did a test on the uh, the Galicis, and they are 4323 milliamp. Down to the fucking tens, my dude. He, he definitely did a good test, and obviously a big shout out to Mooch as well. Love his work. If you guys haven't checked out Battery Mooch online, and you are using external battery mods, go check him out. Any battery, really? Any, well, external battery mods, you know. VTC4s, any of that sort of thing. His stuff is up there, and I mean, he is kind of... Well, he wasn't, he doesn't call himself this, but he's like the godfather of batteries for vaping. Um, he knows his shit very Thank much, you. so I uh, had the pleasure of meeting him a couple of times. Top bloke, very, very humble, but knows his shit. Well, you know, un unfiltered tonight, Tom. Normally I'm real good at not, not swearing, but fuck it. Oh, yeah. Totally you, mate. Not I swearing. can imagine what you guys get up to. Oh, dude. The amount of shit we talk to each other is, is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Battery life shit. is pretty good. Um, so what's that MXJO at? So it's sitting at four four volts, and I have been using that battery since about one o'clock. The other one lasted me since yesterday, from about noon to one o'clock. Um, obviously, I don't vape constantly i mean i'd love to just sit her and chuff on a vape all day but you know work is work um mm. do you reckon 2700s are the future no i do not reckon 2700s are the future i think they're a nice thing for i don't want to say hobbyists but people who kind of want to play around with builds um people who enjoy large battery like don't don't give me that look tom we're not talking about your builds right now <laughs> Um, anyone that kind of likes to, you know, use mechs, um, I've, I find them freaking amazing in the Admiral. They hit a bit harder than the VTC4s that I normally use, the 18650s. Uh, battery yeah. lasts a bit longer, you don't notice the sag on them as much. Obviously, I'm talking about well, iJoys when I'm talking mechs as well. Yeah, that's going, the Josh? one thing, though. Um, Taylor, we've spoken out about, about it on the show before, but basically imagine this is your battery, right? Sitting at 4.2 volts. On an 18650, as soon as you hit it, that voltage drops to yep. about, I think it's 3.2, something like that, around that region. So when you're hitting it, it drops way down. On a 2700, 4.2 volts, you hit it, it's only going down to like four. So you're, you're, you, you're losing a lot less voltage. Exactly, um, Reddit Mosh. That's that's exactly it. It's yeah, yeah, exactly it's more consistent but, um, voltage drop. Easiest way to put it. Yeah, the twenty one seven hundreds. That that is going to be more of a future than twenty seven hundreds are due to the milliamp hours. Oh um, yeah. The iJoy twenty one seven hundred is something like three thousand seven hundred uh, milliamp hours instead of three thousand, with still being uh, what they call forty amp cell. So. Yeah, I love it how you have to do the hyphens around it because you know it's 
within reason it's for yeah, it's not it's yeah once but, I mean, you know how's it going ready and mosh welcome dude uh i think i've seen you on a couple of american shows as well just lurking um how are we doing man hope you're doing well in the states it's probably hella late where you are my dude but it's pretty early where we are at 7 30 p.m um i must admit though i personally absolutely love 2700s um down to the fact that the voltage drops less the, the sag is less you can tell when you need to change your batteries as well it's not like they are consistently hitting that same plateau for the whole time they do drop a little bit but it's not as severe of a drop as your vtc4s or whatever you're running um yeah i mean i can go a full day on two 2700s or i can go a full day in my squonk on three or four 27 uh 18650 sorry um all comes down to obviously use, build, all that sort of thing. I mean, mouth to lung build, there's a 0 0.2, 0 0.22 ohm single fuse clapped in, in there. The first battery lasted from 7 a.m. till uh, about 3. Uh, Dave, Dave, the giveaway is full range of def liquids, so 5 16 ohms to enter. It's on our Facebook page. Uh, you have to find the post, scroll down, you'll find it, and it tells you what you have to do to enter. And you'll be in to win 300 mils of fine e-liquid. Yeah, fine e-liquid. I really want some of that e-liquid, man. Stop fucking rubbing it in. Chilling, the anyway. kids are fed in bed. Oh, dude, that sounds good, man. By that, I meant bed sounds good right now. And also a drink and a relax. Um, need to go back to bed, work at 4.30. Dude, Mosh, what the hell are you doing up, man? Shit, two hours and you got work? You Americans are crazy, man. Very, very crazy. Um, 3.30 a.m. for Josh. Holy shit. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely agree, Dave. Um, actually, I do need to do a recap on the captain. Totally forgot to do it a couple weeks back, but the Sanyo Bs, I'm getting about 150 more puffs out of it than I am from the iJoy 2700s. But I'm setting it about but. 80 watts. Anything over 100 watts, probably even anything over 80 watts, um, your battery life is going to be less because of the fact of the amp limit on it is like a 19 amp, I believe, or 20 amp. Same as like your LGHGs. I wouldn't recommend... You. Actually, no, it's... Yeah. It's 16 amps. 23, isn't it? Max. Oh, max, yeah, MV. Is yeah. it 300 mils, Tom? Five, is it 560s? Yeah. Calc. Wait, let me, let me do this. Oh, come on. Five times six. It's 30, yeah. Yeah. Add a zero, 300, yeah. Yeah, Dave, that's well, a I lot of juice. I don't do math. I'm surprised I'm even allowed to count at all. <clears throat> that ohm's law yeah ohm's law my dude <laughs> who does that oh it's gonna be a a point one uh, that's uh, uh two two amps <laughs> pretty much uh, one second. i need a squonk but you know when you get like down to the low part of your bottle and you've got to angle it to get that squonk action yeah i'm at that point right now you need to get yourself one of the um lucos pins it goes at the end of your straw and it has holes the on either side. Yeah. The yeah, and so it, yeah, even when it's down to the dregs, it'll still pick it up. Yeah, but those straws like are... cheap ass, mate. The pins are. Oh uh, yeah, I was gonna say the bottles. Bottles not so much. No, no, the bottles no, but the well, I mean the bottles are actually, but let's not go into that. Uh, I vape it one ten to one two five. Yeah, I mean. If you're using, like, the Captain PD270, you guys need to try Miami Drip Club. Uh, Taylor Gang, we actually did a review for the whole SVC Labs juices. <sighs> Shit. Quite a while ago. Um, Tearing a Vape Day was when we did that. So, quite a while ago. I think it was, was March, it? February. Oh, was One of those. Um, yeah, whenever Tearing a Vape Day was. We are looking forward to something else from SVC very, very freaking soon. 
they do have the chilled range of the I Love Cheap Thrills coming out and have been in contact with the them. On Ice. So, yeah, the On Ice yeah. series. Looking forward to getting our hands on that. The bees are useless, honestly. Yes, yes, they would be useless. You would be better off sticking with your iJoys um, if you're sitting at 110 to 120 watts. Just because of the amp limits and the drain of the battery would be faster at a lower amp. Um, 2700 iJoys, or if you can find Sanyo A's, if you can find Sanyo A's, please tell me, because I would love a set of Sanyo A's to test those as well. Yeah, but here in New Zealand, good luck finding them. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's, it's hard enough to find iJoy 2700s at the moment. They keep selling out so fast. Yeah. But Sanyo A's is like hey. a unicorn, man. Oh, where is it? Where is my hey. bottle? I have to move those signs. I do have... Oh, fuck me. Where did I put it? I do have a bottle of banana bondage, man. Adore e-liquids. I love Dawn. Her liquids. I haven't had them in ages. But I bottled like six bottles in August last year. Put them away didn't vape them that much even though i only had a 50 mil left of each um and yeah i've pretty much destroyed all of it i've got a small amount left somewhere and that kind of scares me that i don't know where it is because i really would love to vape it oh tom speaking of svc simple by vg still got some of the juice man yeah i did too somewhere here it is <clears throat> So yeah, we did do a review on it a while ago. Um, Omageddon, I do need to hit up Giancarlo and get some of that. Is that is that the mint? It is. Oh, so jealous. I need to get some more, man. Um, I can have it. Ooh, hello. Uh, Giancarlo, yeah. if you're watching, man, hit me up. No, I do definitely need to hit up Omageddon, get some of Giancarlo's juices. They are really, really good. Everything I've heard about them makes me want them even more even the phantom ravioli i'm not a big fan of savory vapes but i think that could be enjoyable um whilst we're at it tom let's kind of move on to what was well is still one of our favorite rdas i'm not talking about the original was was, was. this kind of has was. taken over i'm not going to deny it this the recoil rebel oh tom's got the og out um always so managed to score some of these from the recoil rda website big big shout out to your boy own boy oc Dwayne, and grim green nick absolutely love their products guys um honestly I have been using the quad airflow AFC ring unit for a while. I did try the Cloudsburg clouds cap that comes with it as well. The Cloudsburg clouds is exactly the same as the OG. Um, I don't know if it's going to pick it up, but just with the better deck, that's all. just, just with a better deck and some kind of cool, exciting, new quirky little things like the Ultim ring that goes, Oh, Mosh, if if you can tell Jean to hit me up on Instagram or Facebook, he knows he knows me on Facebook. I'm pretty sure I'm friends with him. If not, tell him to hit up Yeti to get a hold of me. Um, it does come with a little Ultim ring. I believe Tom's using the Ultim ring. I am not because my coils are that freaking big that they won't fit. Um, I did try it with the Ultim ring. It is definitely an awesome little number. It does work really well. The thing that really excites me is something we both have coming in the mail very, very soon, and that is the squonk pins and squonk post for it. Okay. Sweet as uh, Mosh, I will hit you up after the show. Um, but yeah, the squonk pin is really going to step this up for me because I, within reason, I'm kind of over dripping. I, I kind of love the squonk life at the moment. Uh, Taylor Gang, honestly, the Simple Boy VG is spot on. Uh, the whole range the you can... The Tropical Juice? Yes. If you can buy the Tropical Juice, dude, go for it. That shit is 
Oh man, I wish I still um, had some left. The mint choc chip was good as well, as well as which one's that? That's peaches and milk. Peaches and milk. The peaches and milk was delicious. Delicious as well, and for me as well, yep. the strawberry cake. Really, really good Latest strawberry. Mosh. Uh, Latest mosh. Good to see you, dude. Um, I get a taste of that ring. Taste. Interesting. No, um, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Oh, you said you. Because it, it doesn't touch your coils it, at yeah. all. It sits below it. So it. So your coils are like here, and it sits around and underneath. So it's not actually near your coils within reason. Obviously, you're not going to build right against it. You can lift them up for the airflow that is on the device itself. I mean, it's not really going to show up, but uh, yeah, kind of. So I'm using the four. No, it doesn't want to pick it up. I'm using the four hole kind of setup right now, fully open because I am a clouds borrow clouds kind of guy. I do like the flavor though. I must admit the flavor with the airflow ring is pretty damn good. Like compared to the original with the, the two holes, the flavor is pretty damn good. I have found the flavor is better if you do close off the two top airflow slots. Yeah. Um, yeah, hands down. So so it restricts it a bit more, makes it kind of like the original cap, except the way I've got my coils set up is they are right between both sets of coils. See, the, the way I see it, the four-hole cap is perfect for um, series builds, the so really, really hot builds, uh, and then the two-hole cap is perfect for... Um, normal normal day-to-day -day build um the mean, ronin series quite good I'm, I'm assuming she means bonsai by ronin but bonsai juices never heard i get a taste of the drip tip interesting um we also do have the doctor tips coming as well so hopefully that'll be a bit nicer than the original i i haven't had any issues with it no I get I get no different flavor. Um, maybe the coils are close to the ultim. Yeah, it could be close to the drip tip. Could be close to yeah. the ring. All all depends on how you're building, man. Um, I've had no issues with it at all. Uh, Fleur, then no, no, I have not tried bonsai juices. Sounds interesting. Uh, if you want to flick us no, a Facebook no. message with their page, I wouldn't mind having a look. Always keen at Even trying. Hit, Having a case. Uh, always keen on trying different Here's juices. No <clears throat> um, but I must admit, I am absolutely. The the love for the recoil has been rekindled again. The oh, build space it's, on it's this. The perfect sequel. Oh my god. Build perfect space. sequel, man. Yeah. Like juice capacity, the whole the whole like innovation with the Delrin ring that holds your juice in with the surface tension, so you get less leaking. Um, man, it's to me, it's the perfect sequel. Definitely, Plus I mean, the original on, yeah. dude. I I didn't think they could improve on the original when when I first saw. Oh, they bring out another RDA. I was like, hmm, interesting. You know? See, I think I think I still think the original has its place because Definitely. it's the original RDA where no matter what you put in there, the flavor was beyond unbelievable basic bitch you know, like, fucking 24 gauge cantho i did the exact exactly. same build in this with the clouds by clouds as well as this four a afc and the flavor is exactly the same as the original no if ugh, the original yeah. if not better if not slightly better but you know the the original still has its place in the Definitely. sense that number one it's going to be cheaper number two it's still going to have the same amount of flavor and also it's made by Grim Green. But why not? And it's, yeah. I, like, honestly, the original recoil is still brilliant. Definitely. This is just the cherry on top. I'm kind of excited to see what the third gen, if they bring, like, if, obviously, they bring out a third gen. I mean, it took them a year to make the Rebel. I wonder if next year in August they're going to release the third I, gen. If they do, I think they shouldn't change much. Because the, the snake bite airflow, I think, is the key to its success. There's only one thing I would change. I'd change the drip tip. That's exactly what I was going to say. 
Put an 8, 10 make it or a 10. 5, 10. I don't care if it's a 5, 10. 8, 10. 8, 10, 5, 8, 10, 10. You know, whatever. Yeah. Throw something like that on there. Wide board that you can change with anything you already have. Yeah, you I know, mean... like, not something that you have to buy specifically for. See, like, obviously the Doctor tips that we're purchasing or the DHD, yeah. Half Moon, all that sort of stuff. The Macaroon yeah. Drip tips. I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. But I'd love to be able to throw some of my favorite drip tips on there and use them. But, yeah, you know, that's, like that's just goon, me. The ones I have for my goon or yeah. the ones I have in my Sherman or the one I have on the Icon or exactly. any of the other ones that take the same drip tip. Yeah. It's the only thing I change. Flavor, spot on. Build quality, spot on. Threads on the... Um, what do you call it the the, the clamps the, the oh that yeah spot on <laughs> i've had no issues with it you know clamp down your <laughs> coils with um no issues with those same with the 510 absolutely immaculate oh is it gold plated or brass it's not on the thing uh, gold plated brass isn't it who knows no they should do a wick Kid series box, dude. Honestly, if if Grim Green, if Nick and Dwayne brought out a box mod, I would buy it. Even a squonk. If they brought out like a series squonk, a parallel squonk, a single battery squonk, whatever, that would be cool. Something that matches the recoil rebel, like call it the rebel box or something, um, or mm. you know, something that matches it they in the same sort of matte finish. Thing with, um... Didn't they do that little thing with um, Hexon or someone else? Uh, probably. Where they had like a Grim Green series box? Yeah, yeah, they've got a cult line series. Same with the, um, what's what's the thing called? The Me One. They brought out a Grim Green army the Me One. Hey, look, it's the Me One. Hey. Um, Me One! Which they're Thank absolutely you. beautiful. Font, thank you. Beside Anzac and Jamit. Uh, depends what sort of cookie you're after, man. Um, cookie butter from Pink is quite a nice flavor. Um, uh, the one from 44 South as well. The, the Crookie Monster? Cookie Monster. Crookie Monsters. C R O O K I E Monster. That's pretty good. South. Very, very good. I think I've got a bottle of it somewhere. If you want more desserty type of stuff. This stuff's pretty bloody brilliant. The poet, the which poet, you can pick up from Vape uh, It's called Bourbon and Spice Roll. It's actually really nice. There's not too much bourbon. Uh, you can taste a little bit of ginger, a little bit of aniseed, and a little bit of cinnamon, and then like a donut kind of roll. It's actually quite nice. Dude, I can't wait for mine now. Thanks, Tom. Um, yeah, I would love a Grim Colt. Oh, dude, they have it on sale right now. It's $30 for a 60 mil from Vaporium. Sorry, I just had to look it up. There you go. So, ooh, that one sounds really good. Honey and cream. Sorry, I just got sidetracked. And that's got graham cracker and custard in it. So, by the looks of it, cookies or custards are kind of there. Are you going to... Oh, definitely, dude. Um, so, I am tempted, very, very freaking tempted, to pick up another Black Recoil Rebel. One for a squonk. Just for your Kohu. And one for the Kohu. Like, yeah. I, so that's, that's another thing I'm waiting on is the Kohu mod should be released hopefully very, very soon. Uh, should have it as soon as it's in the country. Hopefully all going well with Billy. Um, and yeah, the recoil definitely will be sitting on top for most of the time until I find something that matches it just as well. Because it's 26 and a bit on top, no? 24, 25? 26? Googling it. 27. The Kuhu? Kuhumods.com. Um, 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 um. I'll tell you what else the recoil looks great on, though, Cam. If you're going to pull out the Itchy, I know, man. It looks very good on the Vaping Dude, Chronology it box. It matches the Dilrin. Yep. So um, well. And it lines up. So, Perfectly. 25 millimeter hybrid top. Um, at its widest point, it is 29.5, and 
at its narrowest point, so at the top it is 27 mils, but the 510 is 25 millimeters wide. Yeah. So, so it slopes your... in at the top. Yeah, yeah. Um, poet range last night, dude. Yeah, definitely check out the poet stuff. It is very, very promising. Um, I'm waiting for some to turn up, hopefully, in the next couple of days. Also, that reminds me, I need to go buy a adapter for my ultrasonic cleaner so I can start cleaning all my eddies and getting them ready for devices. Um, yeah. Little Havana. Damn. It's been so long since I've had a Little Havana. What sort of cookie would you say is quite close to Little Havana, Tom? No idea, man. It's been so long since we've done the Miami Drip Club stuff. See, the thing is, Little Havana was... Little Havana was like the tobacco one. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of like a... a I'm just going to pull it up just so we don't butcher. Little Havana. I remember it was something... Was that the one to do with... The revolution is not an apple that falls when it is right. You have to make it fall. It is a cinnamon biscuit tobacco. Yeah. So the the thing with the little Havana is that it's kind of a RY4 sort of blendy kind of juice. So you've got like a s subtle caramel in yep. there as well. Um, if you want something that's similar to the little Havana, not not exactly the same, but similar, definitely this one uh, is one that I would say try. <clears throat> if not, go for something like the um, what's that juice called? The Cubano stuff. Another one. Um, well, there's the five the pawns as well. Yeah, f uh, Black Note, five pawns. Yeah, that's um, who makes it? I know like, 09 still sells. Black it, Note makes some really nice tobacco ones. Yeah. So you'd, you'd be going in the same range as um, Little Havana. I do remember Little Havana. I polish that bottle off fairly fucking quickly. Um, but you'd be looking for, for more of like a bourbon y kind of blend of tobacco mm -hmm. um, that would get you close enough to that sort of cookiness that they had. Um, yeah, Taylor Gang, I, I, I get that, you know, the um, Kohu is worth the same amount as a Genuine Purge, but when you think there's only going to be 250 of these Kohus made, exactly like the original one that is being made right now, um, owning a piece of, I guess you could call it New Zealand vape history, it's the first kind of mod, mech mod-ish thing that has been designed in New Zealand from scratch and then the Philippines have made it. I have said this time and time again, I absolutely love the quality of the Filipino manufacturers. The machining on Filipino mods is spectacular um, quality. Yeah. The Filipinos always seem to do it better. I mean, look at Vicious Ant. Uh, look the, at the thing El me, Diablo. You know? Yeah, the thing for me, for the Kohu mod, mod versus a... Uh, uh, purge is that like the purges i guess you could say sort of like you know so many people number one so many people have them yep. number two there's nothing too special about them too so unique to speak. and special yeah that's exactly what yeah. um yeah trying to get across yeah from from the schematics of the kohu mods button hang is quite different um, it does look like it's bringing out something quite interesting. Also, the capability of being able to change batteries between 2700s and 18650s, uh, to me, is something that's quite interesting, um, yeah. especially in a mech mode. I know you can get like a broadside for probably half the price, and it'll do the same thing in terms of changing between batteries. But, you know, like, like Cam said, it is a New Zealand designed mod, like it is made by someone here. Yeah. Um, it's just manufactured elsewhere because, as you could imagine, the costs in New Zealand oh, to dude. manufacture something like that. You'd be looking at be a mental. thousand dollar tube at least to get. Well, maybe not that much, but you know, but like 
four five hundred dollars for the same thing that you're going to get for three hundred or however much it is. Uh, I believe but, um, the Kohus are. Oh, he's taking them off the website. I think they're like three seventy, if I remember. Um, yeah, exactly, Carlos. I mean, I'm going to have number ten, which is the date of my birth. So that's kind of the reason I went for ten. I did have the option of five, and I really wanted number one, but Billy has kind of kept number one. But um, <laughs> as well as that, I did have exactly Craig as well. Um, definitely gutted that Vaughn Richards to stop making mods. I did hit him up at the start of the year and the start of last year with $1,000 cash to get a box, and sadly, none are being made anymore, which is kind of a shame. Um... But LOS Squonk thoughts, interesting, definitely looking forward to it. Um, back to the story though, Billy, Billy Taylor, Kohu Mods obviously is kind of what he's known for at the moment. Uh, met him at Palmy Vape Day, absolute pleasure, honour to meet someone who is so passionate about a product. And that's kind of the reason why I went for it, because talking to him at Palmy, you know, meeting the guy behind the design, behind the idea of the Kohu mod kind of drove home that, you know, there are people that are so freaking passionate about creating something New Zealand made that he's forking out thousands upon thousands of dollars just in R and D alone to get something out that is New Zealand designed. It's it's kinda of like the same feeling you get when speaking to Jonas from Legit Mods. Yeah. Like the guy is passionate about what he does. And his work shows it. I mean, me and Cam's Hustlers, our original ones, have lasted us so long. So far. And the support we got through our journey of having that first one has brought us to want to get a second or third in Cam's case. Um, but the dude's wiring is unbeatable. The dude's quality is unbeatable. And they last fucking long. Yeah, and I mean, the way I see it, you know, if someone has that passion and is willing to risk a lot of money on something and have something yeah, that's unique but, and made here, it kind of draws me to it even more. If if we go into cost, though, you know, like... Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you go into price, right? You know, Cam's got an endo as well. Endos are exorbitant, you know, like something like this would hit you back 650 US dollars. You know, it's it's not a question of of price really is do you want it? Easy as that. You know, like the titanium HK, there weren't very many made of these. Um, you know, they're fairly pricey as well, about 450 US dollars. So if you if you're going into price, then you basically you you basically have a collection of eye cares or you know like stuff like Captain PD two seventy and yeah. the C CK Stride and Mech Pro Kit and stuff like that. Yeah. So and I mean, I rather I rather fork out a little more and get something that the thought was put in here for yeah. sure. Yeah, design and everything and. The dude's got a passion, which excites me. I'm I'm one of those people that I am, if you don't know, very, very passionate about vaping, very passionate about helping people change their lives, um, make a better option than cigarettes or an alternative to cigarettes. So having someone in New Zealand with that same passion, other than Tom, obviously, but, you know, having, having a passion. passion what the fuck are you on about? Yeah, you, you know. <laughs> Um, but it's definitely something that really <laughs> excites me. Um, but yeah, all rounds on the recoil, definitely a big, big, massive double thumbs up from me. I know Tom's probably going to throw his input in there, hopefully sometime soon. But I'm pretty sure it's a double thumbs up from him as well, because it is a great, 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 great. Um, about to buy a friend in school just to see where the authentic school goes. Wait, before you do that, Taylor, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. There are, there are several school options you can get authentic that are not extremely pricey. Hit up Brendan Hoare. By not extremely pricey. Huh? Hit up Brendan Hoare. Yeah, hit up, hit up Brendan Hoare, right? 
uh, or Hor, however you say his name, <laughs> he makes them uh, in New Zealand, prints them and everything. Or uh, you can get the RAM by... Um, With Tofo and... Forgot their name. At, at vaping, whatever the fuck they are. Yep. Um, or the Athena by Geek Vape. Athena by Geek Vape, which is coming out real soon. That shit is super high quality for a low price, lockable button and all that shit. Um, I personally wouldn't bother with a Frankenskull clone. It's not going to give you the experience that you'll decide whether or not it's going to be primo or not. Yep. Um, and from there, you can kind of go anywhere. I mean, myself, I have a 6-7 mods occultus. Uh, which is my 18650 squonk and then i've got the uh vaping architect uh 2700 squonk. i mean phantom oh. with stabwood absolutely love this box great little squonk or the rock mods i mean yes they are pricey yeah. but but i i know. started on a brendan brendan Hilari's um 3d printed one so i didn't i just went straight for that. the <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah if, if, you, if you if you definitely want to try something hit up brendan um, I believe his company is well on Facebook vape 3d NZ honestly dude in, if you want to test something out well, it's it's a cheaper option than forking out a big amount of money yeah, for or, something that is or, subpar quality or go for a RAM in in all fairness like you can pick up yep. the nice like actually wood one um, from I believe Vapos stock the wood one. Uh, many companies. Adam Vapes now. has it. Uh, I think yeah. Irresistible E Liquids has it. There's a, there's a couple companies in New Zealand that sell it. And but exactly, Dave, expensive. the Athena is partly Kiwi designed because there is a New Zealander working for Geek Vape. Um, uh, one second, I am just on the Adam Vapes website, so I can pull up how much the. Where is it? Where is it? I think they're uh, all the same price. The RAM is like $120. Ones. Damn. I'm so tempted yeah. right now. And they actually look fantastic yep. and operate fantastically as well. So if you want a slightly cheaper option, then you can always go for something like that. Plus the resale value on it is going to kind of remain the same versus if you get I, I just a posted the link price. for you as well, Telegang, if you want to check it out. It is in the, the, the comments. Um super cheap i mean when it comes to squonks you can spend anywhere from two three hundred up to a couple of thousand i mean i saw a authentic franken scale go for two thousand five hundred pounds the other day and it wasn't even the nicest quality yeah. ones that i've seen i've seen go some go for four thousand pounds like yeah you know but that's that's getting into ridiculous yeah, territories so definitely look at me i've owned it so you should pay more yeah but exactly. <laughs> we'll not get into that <laughs> Um, let's go over to the random comment picker for the giveaway. So 300 mils of juice Do this giveaway, eh? is about to be given away. We are at past the one hour. So easy, easy peasy. Uh, Brendan will do a custom. Exactly. Exactly. Um, okay. So I'm going to push the exactly Taylor, like so cheap. Um, start raffle. And they're good, man. Pick the reviews of it. Look them up. They say they're they're fucking solid. Okay, we do have a winner, Tom. I know the guy personally. This is not rigged. I did click the button. I will take a screenshot and I will put it on the vaping EV page. I'm actually gonna do the screenshot right this fucking second. Come on, man. Uh so Gary Cooper. <laughs> oh shit, son. <laughs> is is the winner. Um Damn. Good boy Gary Cooper. It's my boy Gary. So congratulations, dude. Very, very much. So do hit us up on the Vaping Emu page if you do see the video. If not, I will message you later on. Um, one second. Why is it not working? Uh, there we go. Let's crop it. So congratulations, dude. If you don't want the juice. I'll happily take it. Um, <laughs> no, totally joking. Um, so yeah, hit us up on the Vaping UV Facebook page. Either flick your address to us, or if, if it's easier, I'll get Tom to ship it to me, and you can come pick it up from the store or from my house, whatever. 
um, and we'll go from Shit. that. Minus a few mils missing. Minus <laughs> like four bottles. Um, <laughs> Sugi's, yeah, exactly. Um, Craig, Sugi's good friend does work there and that's how he obviously got the Tsunami Mech Tube before anyone else in New Zealand. Um, they are an awesome company. I do love Geek Vape. I do love their products. Their quality is amazing. Um, yeah. And $120 for a squonk. Super cheap. And it's resin. That kind of... Oh. Or wood. Like actual wood. Give away... Drawn. Um, okay, I'm just going to make the post on the vaping heavy. Just so no one thinks that I'm rigging this. Like, no, it's uh, just, you know, I know the guy, everyone's probably like, oh, rigged, but definitely not rigged. Hashtag rigoronis. Um, 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 where's the, the draw? Let's make it right now. Congrid. If you want to say anything before we end, Tom, now's your time. Do we have anything lined up for next week? No? Nothing? No. No, I... Do, do we want to do something, or...? I mean, I'd like to sleep, but no. If you've got, if you've got something happening, Tom, throw it out there. Um... Uh. I don't mind forking in some cash, as you know. Hmm. How about this? All right. So we'll put up a post later on, uh, either tonight or tomorrow, as usual. Uh, the giveaway, next giveaway, which will be another two-week one. Is all Tom's um, juice and all his mods. No. No. Uh, is the same way to enter as you have the previous one. Uh, and it will be for an RX 300. Uh, brand new in box. Uh, <laughs> so we'll do an RX 300, brand new. Uh, you'll get the choice between black or silver. Um, and that's it this time. Um, but we have stuff in the works. We, we do. Um, bigger I'm going to throw it out there, Tom. Throw in throwing four batteries. I'll pay for the four batteries. Boom, done. Cool. So that's an RX 300. And for eighteen six fifties. Damn. Um. Obviously, the eighteen six fifties will be VTC fours, I believe. Yes. Mainly because you are going to be going over a hundred watts with a three hundred watt box mod. Um. I mean, you don't have to vape at three hundred watts, but it does have that capability. Well, um, now four hundred. So actually, an RX four hundred. Chris, dreams are free, my dude. If you want to pay for one of my mods, um, you can buy it. Chris, this will be given away soon. Oh, the point. Banshee. I do Banshee. have... And it's a good one, too, with a good 510. So. <sighs> I do have a couple mods that I am thinking about piffing off, so yeah, possibly that way as well, Chris. Um, Tom will be left with nothing. Dude, he owns a vape shop. Oh, no. um, so yeah. Other than that, guys, thank you for tuning in. As always, uh, we do appreciate your support every week, week in, week out, rain or shine. Um, definitely does help with getting giveaways and products to review. Not financially, but definitely helps with the subscriber <laughs> count. Um, I mean, obviously, Tom and I Not still... financially. We, we still spend a lot of money to get products so that we can review. I mean... It's not going to how much the recoils cost us, but they weren't the cheapest product. Damn, right. 644 subs. Um, we do also have that massive giveaway at 1K, which is going to leave us both bankrupt. That's right. We'll sort with it. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, we will catch you next week. Hopefully the same time. Hopefully the same day. Who knows? Our schedules change. Who knows? It might be in two weeks. It might be six months, you know. No, totally not, but <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, possibly a Zoom chat later on um, that will be posted on probably Vape Fam, if you guys are a part of Vape Fam. 
and you guys want to chill out, come chill out. If not, if we don't do a chill tonight, we will do a chill one time this week. Who knows when? Um, it depends on how busy we are, as I said. But yeah, until then, clouds for you guys, and we will catch you guys on the next show.